the Drunk Sports Podcast. But even though it's 924 and we're this may be not ever even close to the latest they, they, these guys or us have ever hit the top nine it's at not nine. The latest. We are now going to hit the top close. nine at nine. It's 9 p.m. Kind of. And that can mean one thing and one thing only. That being that it's time for the Drunk Sports Podcast. Top nine at nine. <laughs> This is, of course, the segment to where we search the internet and look for a list that we like that's normally a top 10 or top 15 list, and we make it a top nine because we like the fact that nine and nine happens together. Um, tonight's list is, is the a only little, thing better than nine and nine together is a six and a nine together. I didn't right. even have to say it. Absolutely. Yeah, because that way you're not, you know, bumping heads. Yep. So just wash down there first, girls. That's all I'm saying. That's right. That's right. Or, or not. Or some people some, some people like it gritty. You whatever know? works. Some for people you. like it gritty. I, I always carry floss. It's all Tonight's good. list <laughs> is brought Christ. to you by things that well I found on Facebook and I decided, well, you know what? It's an oldie and a goodie, and some of you may know it and some of you may not. This is the ultimate to-do list of things that you should do before you die, not because of prosperity or history or anything else. Just because, well, these situations would be damn funny. Uh-oh. Honorable mention. Number one, all, actually only one honorable mention. It's uh, follow joggers around in your car, blasting Eye of the Tiger for encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to a park where you see a bunch of people running, roll down your window, pop in Eye of the Tiger, pull it up on your phone, whatever, turn the volume <laughs> all the way up, and slow to a crawl behind them and see if they don't get down with it. <laughs> I love that. I feel like we should be doing all of these. I think at some point we are going to do some of these just as a bit, and we'll film them as clips, yeah. and we'll put them up on the YouTube channel. Yep. At number nine, this will take a little bit. It may take somebody with a little more patience than any of us have, Uh-oh. but... At number nine, there's a couple of others that's going to take a lot more effort than what I think we want to give it. Number nine, buy a parrot. Teach the parrot to say, help, I've been turned into a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to take a lot of patience, and I hate birds. It is, but that moment <sighs> that person walks into your house, the parrot looks them square in the eye and says, Help! I've been turned into a parrot, <laughs> and then you break out of the kitchen with some kind of witch's brew in a pot. <laughs> Dear sweet God, that's going to be, be awesome. hilarious. We're doing that. At number at number eight, um, this will take a little doing, and it's also a running bit that would probably tire out before you actually got to the funny. Uh, change your name to Simon legally. Speak in the third person forever. Simon says. Dude, that's going to take some commitment right there. That is, but also at some point, somebody's going to think it's funny. By the time somebody does think it's funny, everybody else is going to be effing tired of it. Number seven, it's going to take some studying, but become a doctor. Change your last name to Acula. Atatula? No, Acula. Just so your your name plate. Dr. Acula. Just says Dr. Acula or Dracula. Dracula. Everybody's going to walk into Dracula's office. That's genius. At number six, and this may be one of my favorites, and this is one that I am definitely going to try. Uh, run into a random store, like a dollar store, restaurant. It doesn't matter. Run into a store. Ask, what year is it? Really loudly. When someone answers, yell, it worked. We did it. We did it. And run out. Oh, I'll do that like tonight. I'll pick the store. I'll do it. Just time machine. You know what? It probably won't work this late at night. You probably have to, because I mean, people will just expect the drunk guy. Drunk? To, yeah. And you have to do it like on a Saturday, like around 1 p.m. Right? Yeah, and just run into a family dollar and and, and 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 catch Sam behind the counter, just worried about, man, is this kid got a proper ID? And then that's, that's, that's when you ask him. But somebody's got to be filming it. Of course they have to be filming it. And hopefully somebody catches it. 
That's you just want them to catch the idea. That yeah. Because I think if I if that actually happened before I saw this list, I'd try and follow the guy out to see where his time machine. And I'd at. believe it. I'm like, wow, I was just part of that. That'd be amazing. Eighty year old me is gonna remember this. Yes. Or probably be here. Or probably be here. I don't know how time machines work. I don't know how it works. At number five, major in philosophy, then work at a fast food joint and ask people why they would like fries with that. (laughs) At number four, get into a crowded elevator and say, I bet you all wonder why I gathered you here today. This, this actually might be something fun for Big Red to do, especially on just the random, the one street corner he has in the place that he lives. It's a Y. Um, a, the, go to the Y, Red. <laughs> and what you need to do is during the daytime, when it's the, the busiest it can possibly be, you need to get a shirt that says life and then just go out there and hand out lemons. <laughs> because life hands you lemons. Whenever life gives you lemons. At number two, <laughs> this is going to take some money, but I swear to God, at least you'll find it funny. You hire two private investigators. You get them to follow each other around. <laughs> <laughs> and then report back to you. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And at number one, this again evolves a crowded street uh, corner and or a park or something where there's a lot of people that are watching. What you need to do is make vanilla pudding. Then you need to clean out a mayonnaise jar. Then you oh, need to gross. then you need to re- reach your hand into the mayonnaise jar, aka the vanilla pudding, and eat it by hand in the in public. Okay, just, number one, just scoop the, the the pudding out of the mayonnaise jar. Into your hand, into your mouth with your hand. If we can change this to Miracle Whip, I'll just eat the Miracle Whip. I don't there have is, to change There is a video out there I saw of a woman eating a gallon of mayo. And it was like, it was a competition. And she uh-huh. ate like, she. they measured how much of it she ate in a certain number of minutes. But she ate like a ton of mayo. I, I, I think the, I could do that. The, the most I could do of that was maybe a tablespoon before the, the like a full tablespoon. I could probably pull that off a full anything larger. I than love that, mayo. Yeah, but it just by itself. Yep. You know, it's it. got to be on something. It's I food. Lube. French fries and mayo. It's food lube. And oh, he said lube. I mean, it is food lube. If you had lube on your <laughs> BSP bingo card, mark it down. Yeah, you, yep. And also, you can go ahead and have that on there probably every single night. You'll probably go ahead and catch a winner at, at some point because we'll all, probably probably go back to loop. All 19 of you that are left in the bar right now. That's right. That's right. So that is your top nine at nine. That is a list that, that, that I found via the, the social medias and thought I would bring it to you. So if you work at a Family Dollar or a Walmart and somebody runs in and asks you what year it is, you kind of know where they got their best. Dude, we got we got to we got to hook that up, man. We really the do. The Drunk Sports Podcast.